Hey kids, today we're going to be making a votive um, for Valentine's Day. So you can make it for your grandparents, your parents, whomever you'd like to make smile. Anyway, what we need is we need a Mod Podge or you can also use Elmer's glue and just water it down. Uh, it's usually about a one to one ratio. So in other words, if you're going to use a quarter cup, and then you're going to put in a quarter cup of water. Anyway, so we also have our plastic bat, plastic jar in which we're going to put the motive in. And we need just some warm water, some tissue paper. I've got red and black magic markers. Now you can use whatever marker that you would like to use. I think in your kit you have one permanent marker. Um, so you can kind of play with that, make a design. I made this ahead of time. So we're going to kind of stick to something such as that. So all you do is you take your jar, you're going to open up your marker, and then you're going to put whatever you want, with hearts, whatever you'd like to put on. Um, you're just going to go ahead and make a heart that looks like this and go around and keep making those hearts and on this side so you should have hearts going all the way around your jar So it looks like I'm going to be able to put about five on my jar. You just kind of work them in there as best you can. So now you'll see that we have hearts going all the way around the jar. Then you can add to that heart. And what I decided that I would do with mine is put just the word love in each one of those hearts. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, so you're gonna keep doing that on all the way around your jar. Okay, so now we just have a heart with the word love in the center of it. Now we're just going to do whatever you want to do as far as uh, doodling around those hearts. So I'm just going to put little circles um, around each and one of those hearts. So it's going to look sort of like this. You see the pattern that I've created. I know it's hard to see, but you'll see the little circles here and go all the way around. So. You can go up the other side. Now it must be a permanent pen so that it doesn't wash off when you do the next step.
You can really do this with any holiday. Maybe at Christmas making a Santa or a snowman. And you can even use a mason jar or a uh, mayonnaise jar after its contents are gone. Just wash it really well with hot water and then you have a workspace. It's always nice to make something homemade for the people we love. So that completes my hearts. I hope you can see them okay. If you want that love to be a little bit more noticeable, go over it twice. So that will make it look a little more pronounced. Okay. Okay, so that's how it looks for this first step of this process. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our red tissue paper and we are going to wrap it around our jar like this so you know approximately how much tissue you need okay and then we're going to cut off the bottom I just tear it Okay, then we're going to take, dip our paintbrush into a little bit of water, dipping it in to the Elmer's glue or the Mod Podge, and we're just going to put it on the jar, and then just scoop down. And you'll notice that it does not affect the writing. And it's important that you just do it one time so that you don't take that marker off. Okay. We're going to take our red paper. And you'll notice that you can see right through the paper. So as you do this, you're going to go a little bit at a time. Let's add some more Mod Podge or Elmer's glue. And we're going to take it all the way down. Just twist that over and smooth it. Don't push real hard because you will, you can tear through that red paper. I'm just going to pat it on. Just like that. And you're going to get to the next section.
turn that back over. Add more glue. Then you can finish going all the way around. Doesn't have to be fancy, but again, only go over it one time. And that will dry clear. Now, at the seamed area, I'm gonna go right over that red to hold it in place. Okay. And then you're going to take your red tissue and go around it, push it in place. And then when you get to this place where you can tear it, see, I've completed the circle. Tissue's all the way around. Now it's time for me to just Carefully tear off that excess red paper. Okay, pat it in place. And then where your seam is here, we're gonna close that by adding more. You don't have to be real careful because again, when it dries, it will dry clear. So I finished that edge. As you can see, this is the part that came over. You're just gonna glue that. Okay, you'll notice that this side is already starting to dry and you can see what you've put underneath that red paper. Okay, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna tuck all of this in. And on the bottom, you're going to put some more of your glue. And then you're just going to wait for it to dry. Okay, so right now we're in the dry mode, so we're going to have to finish this in the morning. Um, so at that time, once it's finished, we're going to just flip it over, put it on the bottom so that you'll see your hearts. And then you're just going to put your motive inside. So this is a, a semi-easy project. Um, it's great for families to do. 